so I was going to have a, a relaxing kind of day today um, and go to my new Airbnb, but then I started driving. I went past uh, the Jura Mountains, which were just incredible. It just kind of, I was on this amazing road it's called the A40. It goes from uh, Lyon straight through to Milan, up on these huge concrete kind of stilt things uh, over valleys and lakes. And then on the left, it saw these cloud and above the cloud, the mountains. It was just incredible. So anyway, I, I got a bit excited, might be in the coffee, and thought I'd carry on to Cormier and do my um, reconnaissance mission route walk today. Ankles are a bit sore, but legs feel quite strong. So I'm gonna have some lunch here in Cormier to see all the hills and the mountains. Not hills around here. It is very different. Uh, the Jura is a bit more kind of, I wouldn't say rolling, but there's lots of green. And then here, the Alps is just these jagged, tall peaks with the glaciers coming down the side. Um, a bit different to the dike. Anyway, um, I'm going to get some food. Um, oh, by the way, this, the shops here are amazing. It's like trail runner shoe heaven. Um, I'll put some photos in a minute, put some photos up in a minute, but uh, anything you want, you could get really, not just one choice of something, like 30, uh, 30 buffs, 30 hats at least. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and get some food now and then prepare for uh, a walk up, I don't know, something higher than what's up there, I guess. We'll find out. Cheers. Okay, that took about 45 minutes, just changing in the car park, getting everything, everything sorted. I think I've got everything. Suntan cream, insect repellent, water, gels, shoes, socks, spare top, rain jacket. I don't know how cold it is up the mountains. Um, anyway, so here we go. There I am, running through uh, Cormier, just like in my dreams. Oh, better, that's too joggy, I'll spot that. So um, yeah, just heading up to the trailhead, as they say on videos and YouTube. I can say that now, amongst the huge mountains all around me. And uh, who am I gonna find on the trail? Maybe Courtney Dewar to be running next to me? Come on, Tim, you can do it. Thanks, Courtney. Or oh, Killian Journe. Come on, Killian. Let's bomb down that hill like we are skiing down, but it's rocks, you madman. Okay, here we go up the trail. No, that's, a, that's someone's driveway. Here we go up the trail, this way. Yes. Hey, look, I'm going the right way. There's signposts there. Um, so it looks like I'm heading to Pussy. Yes. Or uh, Mont Corme. Or Tia Corn Damon. Plagnole. And Nole del Varand. I'm not just saying I to take the pit out language. I'm trying to do my best there. Um, I don't know which one I've got to do. Good news. Check out that view. It's the edge. It's Mont Blanc. Cormier down there. Bad news is, I thought the trail was here, gone the wrong way. This is probably like it, straight up on like rocky tracks. Mont Blanc glaciers over there. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna sit for a minute. And look at this. So, <laughs> so just bumped into some really nice people, Italian, who spoke really good English. And uh, they said, you can't, you can't go all the way around today. So you can go towards the top, then they close it off, then you have to turn around and come back. I said, oh no, I was planning to go all the way around. He said, no, you can't. He said, oh, by the way, the, the hardest part is yet to come. Oh, again, look at that. That's just straight down. And then straight up. Fantastic. Right, one more height of the downs to go. And I should be, hopefully, somewhere near the top of this route, if not the top. This is really tough. Not surprising me. I think I'm about 2,000 meters up. Maybe, no, no, it can't be as high as that. 1,700, wishful thinking. I'm gonna climb up here. 
<coughs> and now it's a, a rope section where you hang onto the rope and pull yourself up. Here you goes. Yes, all the roots now towards the top. That might be the top. What if, it, what if that's the top? Oh my god. But they're all, the last bit is all chains and ropes cut into uh, the side of the, the rocks because you have to pull yourself up basically, or if you slip, you fall down there. Oh. I don't even want to look down there. Basically, I'm just scrabbling up like I was a kid and uh, not looking down and keeping going. I think. That's the top of this first bit, 750 metres straight up. Let's have a look. 755, yeah. Hopefully, it's not a full summit up there. I don't think I have to go up there. I don't go around the side. There's no way I could go back down there. I don't know what the story will be if you're meant to go down there. It'll take me till dark. Yep, that dude was right. It is... Vigneto, uh, close, or oh, whatever that means. Um, so, yeah, can't get to those places today. So, do I go down? It says difficulty. Yeah, telling me, mate. And, or can I go round? 2476 2050. I don't know. I want to go down now. I want to go down. I need to have a look at a map. If I had a map, I can check on my phone. Anyway, let's have a quick look at these views. That's something. I'm up 2,000 odd metres. It's Mont Blanc. You've said I've never heard a sound many times from me and the surrounding mountains. It's very quiet up here. Some kind of wasp thing's trying to kill me. Um, yeah, there isn't a side route, so I do have to go straight back down the way I came. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm just going to take it super slow. Super slow. Another, en another energy gel drink now. Uh, energy gel now. And then super slow, and then get down there. Probably about 50 metres done. Don't know if you can see that. That's uh, straight down there. And then I've got to use these uh, ropes to get down. But it's just, it's just all pine, so it's pretty slippery. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. That was properly scary. I had like fear in my head, but I was just like, let's just park that to one side because we've got to get down, do it one step at a time because what other choice have I got? So basically, well, I'm, I'm just shuffling down. This is okay, this bit at the moment, but they've cut all the grass, which is really nice. Someone's been up here and cut all the grass at the side of the, this trail. That's really steep, doesn't look it? Doesn't look it. But can you imagine coming up here with like a, a strimmer cutting these trails? How tough are those dudes? Or those folks, I should say. Men or women. Oh. Pause for a minute. Enjoy the views. Just came across another uh, walker, hiker. And uh, she said, oh yeah. I said it's closed at the top in like a combination of French and English. She said, yeah, I know that. You just walk around, just go past the fence, ignore the fence where it says, don't go past this fence and uh, carry on walking around. She said, it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, um, it's been fun, this last bit. I've actually been running. This bit is kind of runnable. Once you get used to just the other side of the trail, just going straight down, once you get used to the fact, and then you start, what was scary on the way up with um what was scary on the way up with like a big it seemed like a drop it's nothing to pay compared to what you do what happens when you get up on top of the towards the top of the hill the mountain and um where it's kind of i i found it properly scary but i've never seen anything like that 
Whereas this bit is just runnable. So I'm just gonna go and run down it. So made it back to the Hamin Verand, I think, which is just the outside bit of Cormier. This beautiful, like medieval street. Um, yeah, so I made it down that 750 meters straight up. You might notice I'm not, I can't walk in a straight line. Oh, my legs. 750 meters straight up, straight, it's about 2,000 meters. 750 meters down, wasn't meant to be a climb down, it was meant to be a run overlooking Mont Blanc. But like I say, that was close. Unless you like that woman who just doesn't care and probably going to do it anyway. Oh wow, look at this. And uh, that was so tough. I literally only saw three other people doing it. Um, who just had legs like um, um, Matthew Vanderpol. They all had legs like that, huge thighs. Anyway, the last part of that was runnable. The last half, climbing down was probably scary with the, with the ropes and stuff and the bit drops from one side. But uh, after you got over that, um, running down proper wooded areas, uh, you had to look, it was great fun. You had to still look at your feet all the time because there was roots going and rocks going all different directions. Anyway, I made it down. I can't believe I made it down. I'm so happy. I'm going to eat lemonade, eat lemonade, eat lemonade, drink lemonade, eat ice cream and everything else. And then go to my Airbnb. I'm, I'm wobbling as I'm walking and uh, chill, chill, relax if I can do such a thing. That seems to be very good at that. All right, good night. See you later.